Hey guys, this is Metal Productions, and welcome to part 4 of the Pokemon Blaze Black 2 Gender Lock Challenge. And in the last episode, we basically, well, we caught a new team member, we faced our rival, which our other Pokemon was Mind Games, which is the side of, and we go into the nice little forest here, find the Herdier, and then find the Team Plasma Grunt with the Herdier, and he has, then he gives us the team for, for uh, frustration. So, in this episode, we're going to be going into this building right here, and we're going to be doing something else. But we're going to have to do this first, so I won't talk about the other thing first. Oh, are we going to help train that person, sir? Really? But that boy looks really tough. That's right, but this trainer may be tough, but you can learn from losing as well. More importantly, haven't I been telling you to enjoy Pokemon battles? So, Michael, please be their opponent. I'll show you what's cool about my Pokemon. Okay, bring it! Okay, here we go. Here is the school kid, Seymour. And he has a Pansage. Go, Porkers! Okay, I'm just gonna go flat out just go for the Ember here, because I'm good against this thing. Oh, Quick Claw, excellent. So, yeah, I think that's awesome. Oh, it's going for Leer. If only I, if I had a uh, Popo out. Alright, let's go for an Ember. Okay, it's gonna outspeed, like it should do. And we're gonna Ember take down the Pan Sage! And hopefully we get to a level 11, which we will. There we go. Alright, not bad. And now let's see, this looks like it's a Snivy. Ooh, this is getting interesting. Let's go to Popo. Alright, bring it, Snivy. Alright, I'm gonna go straight for the Gust because it's super effective. Let's see how much that does. Okay, so so. Okay, let's see. Three damage, not bad. We'll just keep going for the Gust. Hopefully, a crit. Come on, crit! Nope, no crit. And he's gonna wrap us. Oh yeah. He's wrapping us, alright. That's gonna do absolutely nothing to us. Now he did one damage. It's gonna do one damage every turn. That's really weak. Come on, Popo! -po, quick attack! Yeah, there we go. And there we go, Popo's level 11. Seven more levels away from a ball. Yeah, we learned Wing Attack! Sweet! Okay, let's, um. Let's get rid of Sand Attack. I mean, it was a good move to use at first because all the Pokemon were stronger than us, but now we're the strongest Pokemon. So, I need to get. Oh, there, teach me more things. Good luck with that. Alright, here we go. That was a fine battle, both of you. And well, next we have. I'm ready. First, you have to heal your Pokemon right. Oh, Michael, there we go. And let's see. Some Pokemon battles are decided by type matchups. That is very true. Which is why I always send in the right Pokemon by reading your mind, and I choose the right Pokemon. Yes! That's exactly what I do. Oh, Pampor. Alright, well, Porkers, it's not your idea. Uh, let's just move out. Yeah. Evacuate! Go, Mind Games! Yeah, there we go. Let's see, we have Cloud9. And now it's gonna go for Home Claws. Ooh, that is not good! Okay, it's gonna raise its attack and accuracy. That is not good at all. You gotta go for Hypnosis. Okay, we have to hit with Hypnosis here, otherwise this thing's gonna sweep us and kill us. Come on. Okay, good, we hit him. Okay, now what I'm gonna do. Since Mind Games has no attack whatsoever, I'm going to Tail Whip this thing. And hopefully it will sleep for the full five turns. That would be very nice. You know what? Two Tail Whips are is actually really good. I just I'll stick with that. Let's go for a Scratch. Okay, good. It's still asleep. I get a, another free turn. Oh, I did absolutely nothing! And it woke up, great. Okay, at least it has Water Gun, not going for Scratch. That's probably the best thing that's happening right here. But if it goes for Scratch, it's gonna hurt. Okay, well, keep going for Water Gun, it's perfectly fine. And, stupidity for the win. That's my line, you know. And yeah, I guess it is stupidity for the win. And now let's see, Oshawott. Okay, let's uh, hypnosis once again. Here we go, and we actually hit two times in a row. That's a first in this last play. Okay, time to tail whip. 
You woke up! Ugh. How unlucky am I? Well, I guess I am pretty lucky if I hit two times in a row. Three times in a row! Okay, I'm kicking some serious butt here. Okay, this is tail whip. So now it's, its defense is down by two stages. But as you can tell from the last Pokemon, it was not enough. So we're going to go another tail whip. And I guess it's still sleeping, so I'm going to go again. <laughs> I'm getting a little too, uh, I don't know what to call that. Oh, crap. Okay, here we go. Water gun. Only did three damage. Let's go for scratch. See how much this does. It's at minus four. Okay, good. Okay, this is awesome. We're going to win. Without losing any Pokemon. Which I better, but still. Okay, good. Min max damage takes it down in Mind Games is level 11. Way to go, Mind Games. They try to learn Disable. That could be actually kind of useful. Oh, but I don't know what to get rid of. Tail Whip has just been pretty useful right there. But normally would I send it in for water types? No. I guess I'll go to Tail Whip. I'll probably regret it later. But we got Disable. Because Disable could be cool. Quite useful if we outspeed, because if we see a move that's super effective, we just need to disable it. That's it. I can tell that all the Pokemon were enjoying themselves as well. How about it, Michael? Yeah, I already know that. Yeah, it's Stab. Yeah, great job, and he healed us up. Okay, cool. Let's get out of here. And look, there's the badge guy. I know this is Sonic, but nice to meet you. Not to say anything. Just take this. And we get the badge bag. No, I don't know what it is. Metal box. Okay, this is the Metal Box. Some people call me Mr. Metal. And by the way, do you, do you know a competition that's called the Metal Rally? Um, no. Whether or not, I'll explain it to you. The Metal Rally... Okay, Valley... Uh, okay, cool. And we got a medal. The first step medal. And he gives us six hint medals. Um, okay. Cool. I forgot how many medals you can get in this game, but whatever. Michael! For the newly opened Pokemon Gym in Dispersal City, I heard a new gym leader has arrived there. You should go and test how strong you become. Why, sure. Thing, Alder. And we got ourselves X an X speed. That's pretty nice. Alright. It's time to head back to our hometown. Somewhere over here. Let's get our bike out. Michael! How'd you even get up there? Okay, whatever. Excuse me, I'd like to tell you something, like some information. First, take these. And we got orange berries. <laughs> okay. Thank you. You can give your Pokemon berry to hold, and they can eat it if they get hurt. Perfect. Actually, those would be very useful for the gym battle. So, yeah. I'll be equipping those right when we get to the gym leader fight. Because, yeah, I think that's what we're going to do this episode. If we have enough time, which I think we will. But, let's just, okay, cool, no wild, no wild battles, so we can go straight to the gym. Alright, Aspersia City Gym is right over here, at this library! First, okay, forget that, I'm just gonna go up in the building. And let's see what's over here. I asked Alder from Flossy Town to teach me here, okay, good for you. And there has to be something in here that's important. Um, these items during battles, we get an X defend. Okay, I don't ever use those, but sure, thanks. Um, he doesn't give us anything. How about you? Oh, Roxanne! Whoa, Roxanne! Um, I don't know if I want to face her just yet. You know what? I have the gym uh, trainer roster. I'm gonna check what her levels are. If they're at decent levels, I may actually face her today. Let's see, wait one second. Alright guys, so yes, I did look at her team roster. They're all at the levels that I would that you would want to face, but I don't think I'm prepared yet. Because since you know she is a rock gym leader, all I have is mind games. Let's say he went down, then the entire team is done. Because I mean the other two are weak to fire, uh, not fire rock. So I'm gonna pass on it for now. I may do it in the next episode though. So, yeah, that's actually quite interesting that uh, Dreano put the Hoenn Gym Leaders in here. You can cancel his evolution by pressing the B button. Okay, good for you. And look! There's the champion, the making guy. 
Hello, I'm Clyde. I'm the guide for the Trainers Who Challenge Pokemon Gyms and take this to commemorate your debut. And there we go, we got a fresh water that heals 50 HP. And yeah, 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 good for you. And if you go over here, look at that. There's Sharon and two other people. You must be a challenger. Welcome to the Spursus City's Pokemon Gym. I'm Sharon, the gym leader. Well, maybe. I better say that. I just become a gym leader. More importantly, we need to prepare before welcoming you, welcoming you to my gym. We have a trainer. Take two. Oh, you two, take your places. Okay, so there we go. If you could defeat these two, then I'll be your opponents. Well, I guess you could just skip them, but... Uh, actually, you know what? Probably can't skip them. But anyways, let's battle. Sharon saw potential in me. I made I was made a trainer in this gym. Okay, now it's time for face-off. Alright, we're going to face Pedro. And he has a Rattata. Level 10. Ooh. Rattata can actually scare me here. I don't know. It depends if this thing has uh, Hyper Fang right now. If it does, ugh, that'd, be, that'd be really bad. Okay, Ember. Because you don't ever know, because he edits the movesets. For, like, the learn pools for these Pokemon. Because I actually did look for Pokemon changes, and in fact, a like, almost all the Pokemon have changes to their moves learn pool. So, I'm, it's actually pretty cool that, uh, Dreano did actually do something like that. Anyways, Porkers is level 12. And now, let's see, we have a Wizmer. Uh, let's go out to... Popo. Let's go, Popo. Alright, so Wizmer. I'm gonna go for a wing attack here. See how much damage this will do. I'm sure it'll do a lot. Yeah, look at that. More than half. That's that's awesome. It caused an uproar and it did almost half damage. Wow. Really? Should be more scared of Wizmer than Ratata. <laughs> Alright, Popo's level 12. We got ourselves a schnubbable. So let's go out to mind game. Go, Mind Games! And, okay, nice ability, Cloud9, whatever. We're gonna go for the Hypnosis. Maybe we'll hit. No, we won't. Okay, and it's going for Charm. Okay, I'm using a... I'm gonna be using a special attack anyways. But, whatever. This must have the, um... The, uh... Dream World ability. If I didn't see his... Um... If I didn't see the Intimidate... Unless I'm wrong, maybe he has a second ability, I don't know, but... Oh, man. Oh, crit! Oh, that was awesome. Okay, we defeat Pedro. You're strong, I should say your Pokemon are strong? Yes, they are strong indeed, thank you very much. If you can defeat the girl too, then you can challenge the gym leader. Well, I guess we'll have to face the, all the trainers then. But will we need to heal up? Yeah, I think we need to heal up. So let's just get use up our last couple potions. I'm sure we won't need many potions for the gym fight if we're gonna have Oran Berries equipped, so, yeah. Now I'll show you all the things I learned from Sharon. Oh, excellent. Now it's time to battle the last. Serena. And she has a P-Dove. Go, Porkers! Okay, let's go for an Ember. And it does way less than half. Yikes. I know, like, one thing I saw in the Pokemon changes for Tepig is that his special attack got lowered and his physical attack, um, got raised. So that's why Porkers isn't really hitting as hard as what he should be. So once he turns into, uh, oh sweet burn! But once he switches into, uh, his next evolution, he'll probably gain a fighting type move, which will be physical. And, you know, it would be very useful. But anyways, now it's time for Iggly Buff. Let's send out Popo. Yeah, Popo. Alright, so Iggly Buff. It is level 10. Okay, I'm just gonna go for a wing attack. It'll probably do about half around there. Iggly Buff really isn't that bulky. Oh, crap. It's going for Charm. So that means it's gonna at least take the next one. Unless I get a crit, which I won't. But you never know. Let's see. Wing attack. Maybe I'll still take it out. You never know. Nope. Ah, charm. Excellent. 
So let's see. Let's just go for another wing attack. It's down. You're down for the count, son. I mean, daughter. No, I'm kidding. That's not nah, right. All right. It's time for Clef, and now it's time to send out my games. Go, my games. And we're on Cloud Nine. Okay. Water gun. Oh, sweet kiss. Oh, man. Oh, that stinks. Okay, don't hit yourself. Don't hit yourself. Okay, good. Crit. Nope. Great. This is going to be long. You know, I'm going to speed this up in case I do hit myself here. This is just going to take a long time. I don't need the gym leader fight in. And, oh, man. Stop charming. You're not that much of a charmer. Hey, come on. Come on. Don't hit yourself. Okay, good. And it's in the red. And stop charming me. I think I'm at minus six attack, so stop it. And we take it down, so whatever. Hopefully we can get to level 12. No, we won't. Ugh. Oh, well. Okay, you're pretty good, but can you beat Sharon? Oh, man, I don't think I have enough time for the gym leader fight. 16 minutes? It could be boom, bada bing, bada boom, done in like three minutes, or it could possibly take like six, seven minutes. And I'm sure people don't like watching ridiculously long videos. So I'll end it off here. So next time we'll be taking on Sharon the Gym Leader. So if you enjoyed this episode, please leave a like, favorite, comment, subscribe, jump in the inbox, and see you guys next time for some more Pokemon Blaze Black 2 The Gender Lock Challenge.